Another neutrino disruption. Scanners are picking up an object near their last known coordinates. It isn't a ship. Major, there's something inside it. Some kind of life form. Are the Cardassian sensors picking it up? They should be back in line by now. We have to assume they know everything we know. Yellow alert. Secure ops. Beam it aboard, Mr. O'Brien. But put it in a level one security field. Aye, sir. Locking up. physical entity what what did you say it is responding to visual and auditory stimuli linguistic communication yes linguistic communication are you capable of communicating with me what are you my species is known as human i come from a planet called earth earth this is what my planet looks like. You and I are very different species. It will take time for us to understand one another. What is this time? First officer's log, stardate 46392.7. We're preparing to launch a rescue mission to find Commander Sisko. But first, our navigational sensors must be recalibrated to work under the conditions reported by Lieutenant Dax. It is no ordinary wormhole. My analysis suggests that it isn't even a natural phenomenon. Not natural? You mean it was constructed? It's very possible whoever made the orbs also created this wormhole. The Cardassians are leaving their position on a course toward the Denorius belt. Mr. O'Brien, what would it take to move this station to the mouth of the wormhole? This isn't a starship, Major. We've got six working thrusters to power us, and that's it. A 160 million kilometer trip would take two months. It has to be there tomorrow. <laughs> that's not possible, sir. That wormhole might just reshape the future of this entire quadrant. The Bajorans have to stake a claim to it. And I have to admit that claim would be a lot stronger if there's a Federation presence to back it up. Couldn't you modify the subspace field output of the deflector generators? Just enough to create a low-level field around the station? So we could lower the inertial mass. If you can make the station lighter, those six thrusters will be all the power we need. Oh, this whole station could break apart like an egg if it doesn't work. Even if it does work, we're still going to need help from Starfleet once we get there. The Enterprise is still the nearest starship. It could reach us in two days. We should advise Starfleet that we will require their assistance. You have ops, Mr. O'Brien. Lieutenant, you're with me. Aye, sir. You too, Doc. Time to be a hero. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> 